at the Gear Lodge, uh, a community health fair, which is free, is coming up on Friday, October 22nd from 11 to 3. Joining us this morning is Stacy Nicholas, who is a senior director, organizational advancement uh, at Gear Village Senior Community. Uh, Stacy, good morning, and thanks for joining us. Good morning, Marshall. Thanks for having us. We yeah. appreciate uh, all that you do and making it possible for us to spread the word. You know, it's interesting uh, when I uh, looked at uh, this interview coming up, and then I looked at uh, and we posted uh, the poster. Um, there haven't been many health fairs, obviously, because uh, the past year, year and a half, we've been dealing with COVID. And these free community health fairs are invaluable. I know uh, years and years and years ago, uh, I was I was actually broadcasting from a community health fair. This was many, probably about 10 years ago. And um, during the broadcast, uh, I, had a, I took one of the tests and found mm-hmm. out that I had... Uh, uh, something on my nose that sh- that had to be removed. And uh, probably, because I would have not ever noticed it really, uh, noticed it, um, and it was removed, and it came back, and it was, ne- and then I removed it again, and, and, and it was gone. I would have never found out about that, and it might have led uh, to cancer for me. And this was a free community screening. So uh, the community health fair that you are putting on, on Friday, October 22nd, from 11 to 3 at the Gear Lodge, is really a very important event. It's actually a watershed moment for us, especially as we are trying to navigate our way through COVID. Uh, We've taken a lot of precautions, and we're making sure that we can still uh, serve the community, but in a very safe way. So I'm calling this the fresh air health fair <laughs> because it's all going to be outside. Um, and the amazing organizations that we partnered with are very unique, each and every one of them. But the one thing that they do have in common is that everybody's gotten really smart and they have mobile vans that they're using in order to reach out to the communities, especially in the northwest corner, um, in order to continue to provide service in this crazy world, um, but to make sure that people get what they need. And so every single one of these organizations is bringing their mobile vans, um, and we'll have uh, everything set up in our parking lot so that they can be spaced apart so that everybody can feel very comfortable, uh, but still take get access to the you know the services that they need, or that they don't even know that they need, which is what you you proved with your your story this morning. You know, it's 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 so interesting. Uh, and uh, one thing, uh, COVID, uh, the pandemic has done has forced us all to be more creative in ways to be uh, still involved in the community and reach out. And that's any nonprofit uh, that that's in our yeah. tri-state region. Everybody's had to become a, a little smarter and a little more efficient in reaching out to people. Uh, once again, we're speaking. Speaking with uh, Stacy Nicholas uh, and Gear has that community health fair coming up. It's free, eleven to three at the Lodge at Gear Village, uh, South Canaan Road in uh, in North Canaan on Friday, October twenty second. And before I get on to all the other uh, the the people that are going to be there, uh, Gear itself is going to offer uh, several different things: uh, senior wellness, medication management, dial a ride, uh, plus uh, chair yoga and. Stacy, I have to tell you, I used to be somebody um, who uh, kind of brushed off chair yoga, but since I've had uh, four surgeries on my ankles and I'm now going through uh, two different treatments on my knees, guess what I do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do chair yoga. <laughs> you know what? Any movement that you do that's more than what you did yesterday is good. And, so, and uh, the YMCA is going to be providing that program as well as some other uh, offerings, and uh, they're great at getting people motivated. And and I, I explain a little bit to people that and I can't believe there would be people out there that wouldn't know about this, but uh, I think there probably are, especially because people have moved into the area. You at Gear are offering a senior wellness, medication management, and dial Let's talk a little bit about each of those uh, those things that you're offering. Sure. So you've actually interviewed uh, two out of the three yeah. people that run those programs. Senior wellness is Chrissy Bafanis. Yeah. She's our uh, occupational therapist who works here up at the lodge. She provides um, a 
plethora of activities, but things that help our seniors age well. And so she does a, she is planning to do on that particular day assessments to help people understand, you know, what their level of um, activities are right now and help them think about and map out how to improve that. Uh, medication management is Charlie Page, who is our pharmacist. And he's absolutely fabulous. Actually, this coming week on the 20th, he has a virtual lecture going on as well about medication management. And it's just, you know, learning about how to make the most of the medications that are prescribed to you. Um, Because sometimes, you know, there's contraindications. Sometimes we don't take them properly. And we think that they don't work, but it's really that we haven't given them a chance. Uh, and then you've also interviewed Ivana Powers, who runs our dial ride program and does all of our transportation here at GEAR. And so those three entities are going to be represented uh, at the health fair. Uh, now, once again, uh, the health fair is Friday, October 22nd from 11 to 3 at the Lodge at GEAR Village. Uh, walk-ins are welcome. Now, this is open for ages 16 or older. And, of course, face masks will be required. If you don't have a face mask, they'll provide one for you. And as, as Stacey mentioned, it's going to be outside. Let's talk about uh, your partners that are going to be in this, uh, Hartford Healthcare, the McCall Center, and Community uh, Health and, and Wellness. Um, we're very fortunate to have some great partners. Um, Hartford Healthcare, actually, this started with a conversation with them and just kind of snowballed as these things do. Um, and so we've been working with them quite a bit. Um, one thing that is, uh, we're real excited that they're going to be able to offer at this are some COVID vaccines as well as flu vaccine and booster shots. So uh, I've been hearing in the corner that the boosters are a little bit difficult to get right now. Um, So we're very thrilled that they're going to be able to uh, come prepared for a crowd. (laughs) (laughs) Um, They're also going to be doing some uh, food and nutrition counseling, uh, some balance and memory screenings, you know, just to give people an opportunity to talk with their professionals. So. I also see on the list uh, that there's going to be uh, some vision and hearing screenings as well. Also mm-hmm. a pharmacist there, like you said, you can ask and find out about the medicines that you're taking or might have to take. Uh, and uh, also a hands-only CPR training. But now let's move over to the McCall Center for Behavioral Health. Uh, their mobile wellness van will be there, and uh, they are offering a, a, a lot of different uh, services as well. They are, and one thing that... Um They actually did a training for our staff on that is very interesting, is what's called the COACH program. And that is a COVID assistance community health program. And it's meant just to really help people navigate the stresses and strains that we are all figuring out uh, due to COVID. And they, again, have a mobile van that they're going to be bringing, um, and they focus on senior outreach, um, assistance for the northwest corner with the prevention network, um, and you know mental health and behavioral health issues. Once again, we're speaking with uh, Stacy Nicholas, and uh, the uh, free uh, community health screening will take place on Friday, October twenty second, from eleven to three at the Lodge at Gear Village. There'll be free uh, healthy snacks and also a cooking demonstration. But also now you've also included community health and wellness in this, and they are offering uh, a package of 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 free things for people as well. They are. Um, Community Health and Wellness just recently initiated their, uh, what they call Betty, which is their mobile van to bring services throughout the northwest corner. And they are going to be doing some blood pressure screenings. They're going to be doing some age-based screenings, as well as have a primary care um, physician or APRN available in order to talk to people about, you know, possible appointments and, and things that they might need in the area. You know, Stacey, it's, it's so interesting. Uh, you know, we're so lucky around here. Uh, seniors, uh, everybody has uh, access to health care, but seniors especially. But, you know, I think what GEAR 
and the whole the lodge and the whole Gear Village community has been through in a year, past year and a half. Uh, the residents that either in Beckley House or at the Gear Lodge or at Gear Nursing and Rehabilitation, uh, it obviously has been a stressful time for them and a stressful time for all you employees. But you've all held it together and come through this. I just uh, I just marvel at at the work that 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 it's taken. You know, I marvel too because um, I'm not a clinician. You know, I work in the office area, um, and when you see the staff every single day and they bounce back every morning when they come in, um, it is stressful. Um, They are just amazing individuals, every single one of them, whether it be in housekeeping uh, or in the dietary department and certainly up on the floors in the clinical environments. It's very heartwarming to know that you work for an organization where people care and show it every single day as much as they do. Well, once again, one final reminder for people, uh, and we'll talk about this and play this interview back numerous times. And if you folks uh, want to see uh, what's, what's, what's going on there, you can go to our website, RobinHoodRadio.com, click on On Demand, and when you find this interview, it'll be up in about 25 minutes, uh, you'll see the information on the Community Health Fair. Friday, October 22nd, 11 to 3, uh, the lodge at Gear Village will be outdoors. Um, once again, 16 and over. Uh, face masks will be required, and if you don't have them with you and you manage, you're riding by and you want to stop by, they'll have face masks for you. Stacy, uh, give my best to everybody uh, at uh, at Gear, and uh, and also uh, congratulations. I think once again the arrival of a community health fair right at this particular time is very very welcome. Thank you, Marshall. I appreciate your time, um, and come on down, and everybody. Uh Learn something new. All right, Stacy. have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. I uh, just love uh, when our different organizations like this put on free events like this, uh, and uh, it's so beneficial uh, to the community. Uh, more information you can also find out at carecares.org on the web.